Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are doing well. We are only one hour from San Antonio today. And once again, I'm utilizing a free rest area. Actually, I think they call this a picnic area here. And uh, I've got Frida parked here, my own little spot, tater tot there some mountains we are, we are close to a county road out here so sometimes they'll come whizzing by at night but we've got this view look at that guys pretty cool spot Thanks for joining me guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. You'll find a link below in the video description for unlimited internet on the road. And I do hear water down there, but I can't see it. We got lots of fall colors with the orange. Just actually, let me hop up here and get a better peek. Yeah, there is definitely water and possibly even a dam. Actually, actually, let's drone it. I'll get my drone, pop it up over the edge and we'll, we'll all look together and see what's down there. All right, there we go, the DJI Mavic 2. We need a controller here. And you can't mess up with the DJI platform because it's constantly connected to everything going on. It won't even let me take off in an area where I'm not allowed to take off. Yep, good battery. Well, there you go. As we look live here, it looks like it's some sort of another lake dam area, maybe even a campground on the other side. But uh, yeah, I'm surprised by how all all the how nice and pretty all the waters look here in Texas. You, you kind of wouldn't expect it, but there are a lot of pretty lakes and rivers in Texas that are semi clear and really colorful. Nice day out here, though also going to be staying off of i-10 today uh for the rest of these 60 miles that get us into san antonio because i just don't want to be on an interstate i want to take some back roads and see if we can find some new interesting stuff along this route today so let's go come on with me we are going east on texas 27 towards ingram is where we're going to be stopping up here and I don't know how I'm gonna deal with it once I get parked today. I was pretty much ready for winter, okay? It was freezing, 22 degrees. Now today it's going to be 90 degrees in San Antonio. I'm just like, how does your brain like bring summer back in November, you know? Not that I'm complaining, I'm loving this. This is, this is working out really, really well. <laughs> wow, okay, interesting little place here in Ingram, Texas. We got an Easter Island head here and look at this, Stonehenge. So if you're keeping up on the channel, uh, how many Stonehenge replicas have I been to? This is actually the fourth. Uh, this is the most lifelike from the original in England. This one is a three quarter size replica of Stonehenge and it is made of rock here, like concrete, whatever we could get. All of a sudden I'm doubting that it's really rock, concrete. It might be part of a plaster. Well, let's look at the ground. That'll give it away. Well, no, it's coated with concrete. So it's got concrete outer, but definitely not concrete. So I'm wrong on that. But wow. <laughs> it's pretty cool in here. Uh, this replica here is in much better condition than the original uh, overseas in, in England, uh, which is probably crumbling and falling to pieces. But uh, I, I will let you know that um, uh, this channel is, is going to be making a change. Um, this guy here is going to come into play. <laughs> Do I really want to say this? Yeah. Before the end of the year, in fact. We are going international here on the channel, and that is my teaser for those of you who watch all my videos. Now I got everybody wondering what country I'm going to next month. Not Mexico, not Canada. Just so you know. <laughs> all right, this park is called Luis Hayes Park. It's like a pretty little spot to have lunch, but am I gonna find a place to park the RV? That's the only. Wait a minute. <laughs>
Yeah, I think I'm done with those TV dinners, by the way. I'm gonna go with a probably bologna and cheese sandwich or peanut butter and jelly sandwich, maybe. Nice, they got a largemouth bass, I think, made out of mosaic. Kerrville, Texas. We'll get up close so you can see all the little concrete, rock, marbles that go into it. Pretty neat. And they got an outdoor fountain area with some umbrella tents. It's a warm day. That's that, you know, you start getting down here in the heart of Texas and uh, they don't even turn these off in the winter. I mean, it stays warm and you can use these year round. There's no chance of freezing here. Awesome. But I'm gonna pass on getting moist right now. I'll get moist later. And we've got this really nice walking, hiking, biking trail and it'll lead you right to the Guadalupe River. Wow. Some ducks down there in the water. Some people fishing off the bridge here. And uh, yeah, beautiful time to be in Texas, y'all. Gosh. Man, I love life. I love traveling. I love chasing good weather. I love seeing new things. I'm in my element right now, guys. I really am. <laughs> yeah, there's beaches in Texas. Look how pretty this is. Little island out there with some trees. Got some puppies enjoying the water here, playing fetch. How great is that? Did you fetch me a stick? You, you fetched me a stick, thank you. I needed that, can I have it? You sharing? Thank you. Ready? Go. <laughs> nice day in Texas. Let me make a quick little lunch and then we'll get back on the road, get a little bit closer to San Antonio, Texas. All right, told you, we're gonna have to run some solar AC here. Gonna have to. So Wayne installed these fans on this compartment door. I was going to cover them up for the winter. Uh, thank goodness I remembered that it's still warm and we are going to need them. They haven't kicked on yet, but once it goes over, I believe 81 degrees inside the compartment, those fans will kick on for me. And if it gets really hot, like that one time in my other RV, I may have to keep this whole compartment open. But let's go walk over here. We got, we got a Holiday Inn Express and Suites here in Texas. I don't stay at a lot of hotels or motels since I have everything I need in my RV, but sometimes I need to for whatever repairs or what's going on with my RV. I'm usually a red roof guy, personally. Oh, of course there's a fence and I can't see over. Well, here, let's see if we can see. They got a pool. You can't tell from this view, but that pool right there, that pool is not your everyday average round pool. In order to get an idea, we gotta pop the drone up in the air and take a look from the aerial view. All right, there's my RV in the center of the frame there as we move closer towards the motel. There's the red roof and the pool's gonna come into view here in just a moment and take note, it's in the shape of the state of Texas. <laughs> and the little star right there, I love it. Actually, that's, oh, the star is the hot tub. Heck yeah, I'd be in, I cannot believe nobody is using it right now when I'm flying over. Beautiful, nicely done, nicely done. Gotta love that, that Texas feel in everything. All right, next stop, about 30 miles to go into San Antonio, not looking forward to the traffic. We are gonna be camping in the heart of San Antonio, a harvest host actually called the Alamo. So I am just gonna keep the cameras off in case there's some foul words that come out of my mouth during this. And uh, we'll uh, figure this out, let you know when we get parked. Wow, what a neat place, guys. How many Harvest Host locations do you think I've stayed at in the last, was it five, five years since I've been a member? I'm one of the classic members. They're in, they're in the six digit member numbers now. I'm a four digit Harvest Host member. And uh, I would say at least 50. We, we've been to at least 50 on this channel, right? Never had this at a Harvest Host before in the parking lot where they want the RVs to park and they can host three RVs at a time. Yeah, guys, they got 30 amp. 
and uh, 15 amp regular plug there too. Thank you, Jerry, for the 30 amp surge protector here. So that is nice because it is a little warm here. I know it doesn't look warm in, in the picture here, but it is humid and hot in November. My app says it's 91 degrees with an expected high of 90 and feels like 94. This is the first time I've experienced humidity. Finally, we've gotten far enough east into Texas where it is moist and humid and hot. So the kitties are going to appreciate non-stop air conditioning in here while we go over to Alamo Beer Company. Here's the entrance of the Alamo Beer Company with a walking bridge above us. They've got an artificial green turf football field out here for you to party and enjoy. There's their logo, Alamo. Let's go towards the front here. Really cool outdoor space. It's probably gonna come alive here in a couple hours once it gets dark. It's still kind of warm. Let's see here. Every Thursday, beer, bacon, bingo. Five rounds of bingo with trivia. Well, that sounds fun tonight. And here we go. We're on the inside here where they've got, again, craft, craft beer up there. They got a full kitchen. They've even got some uh, take-home six-packs here. I wonder if they have a flight to get me started here. That might be a good start, right? They also have this souvenir barrel. That looks awesome. That looks cool. And like always, I asked him to surprise me there. So number one is the 1816 Pilsner. It's going to be this guy right there. I'll go through a couple of these small four ounce samplers and uh, see what I like best. All right, still working on the sampler here, but <laughs> look at this happy pretzel, guys, and cheese. Oh my gosh, that looks ridiculous. It's huge, it's huge, huge. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That was a really good pretzel. I, I'm gonna say it's better than a Disney pretzel even. And out of all four of those, I went with, well, the Alamo's version of a fancy Bud Light, which would be the 18, not 16, it's 18 pound. I missed that one, but 18 pound Pilsner is my favorite. I opted out for the souvenir barrel cup because it's a $50 cup. It's cool, but it's not $50 cool. Oh, okay, now I understand the fake football field. It's a playground for the kids so that the parents can drink. Actually, that's really smart. <laughs> I'll be back tonight. I want to go check in on the kitties real quick. Well, let's see how productive the kitties have been. What? You didn't build me the Taj Mahal while I was gone? You didn't do anything, huh? You just slept. Now you demand all my attentions. All right, you got my attentions. What you need, Opie? Where's your sister? Where's your little sister, or your big sister, huh? Her sleeping too? Her's not sleeping, her's ready for dinner. Yeah, it's dinner time, Tara. What do you want me to cook you? I'll cook you anything you want, as long as it's in a can. Okay, good girl, yeah. They're pet friendly there, but you can't go inside. You can be outside, but you can't go inside for some reasons. I don't know, I don't know. So because of where I'm parked, I'm leaning towards the driver's side a little bit. So when I open this bathroom door to let air conditioning in there, it doesn't stay open. And there's no way to, like, no matter how much I push it against the side, the door still closes. So I'm not saying I'm a genius or anything, but I'm just using part of the cord for my charger around the knob and it's like magic. So sometimes it's just the simple little things in life that make life easier, better, you know? <laughs> we can go check out what it's like at night. I talked to Tara, she doesn't want to go. Opie really wants to go, so he's in the backpack behind me. Let's go see what it's like outside to, with the outdoor activities and the Opies and the Dopies with the outsideness, yeah. Well, it looks about the same as the daytime. The same kids are still out here playing. <laughs> Parents nowhere to be seen, but uh, yeah. 
Opie Double Dopely, they didn't have any kitty beer, I asked. I asked specifically and they said no kitty beer. Kitties don't need the beers, but Eric's, Eric's needs the 18 pounder. That's what I need. Yeah, bummer, I didn't know they actually close at 8 p.m. tonight. We have only got about 40 minutes left. Uh, here's some of their steins and stuff they brew with. And as we go back, on, on, on the weekends, they actually have like live music and stuff here, but uh, Opie, what do you think about the outside world? Man, Tara doesn't know what she's missing. I kind of I kind of dig it, Dad. Kind of like the outside, man, you know, you know. Opie, so what's your overall feeling of this place? Man, it's okay, but you know, they should have an open bar for catnip and stuff. That kitty beer water that's approved for kitties over the drinking age. Man, I'm drinking age as soon as I start drinking water. That's true. Yeah, good point. Um, Dad, I'm ready to go tell Tara about my experiences. And what would your experiences be? Well, that, you know, it's pretty cool outside too. The RV is cool. I mean, your RV is cool, man, but you know, it's pretty cool outside too, Tara. Just so you know, okay. Thanks for letting her know. Okay. Okay. That's a puppy. You don't like puppies. Or do you like pup? Do you want a puppy? What kind of puppy would you like? You want a Yorkie? Should we get a Yorkie? Kevin says Yorkies are like dogs for cat people. Maybe we should look for a Yorkie. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Opie and I are gonna head back to the RV. I'm gonna be careful about how I put this, but. I got along really well with the staff here at, at Alamo Brew. And uh, although you may have known that if you're a Harvest Host member, no matter what, you're only allowed one night. I, 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 I can't help what I was told tonight. For $10 a night extra up to 14 days, this bar will allow you to stay one additional night. So I paid an additional $10 to the bar directly outside of Harvest Host to stay one more night because I love this place so much. However, I am not going to film night two here at this place. I'm just gonna enjoy it, so. From Opie in the backpack and Tara in the RV and I, we will see you in the next video heading towards my sister and my mom's place. Guys, be well. See you later, bye-bye.